Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. Now we're going to start part two of making this table. And if you follow my instructions, this is what you should come out with. Now you can use this on anything. You can put any type of design you want on this. You don't necessarily have to put LSU, of course. And I'm going to be showing a lot of other things. I have a lot of ideas for some different projects that we'll be touching on later down the line. But we're going to get started on this right now, and I want to show you something real quick first. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video and drop a comment on me, because we're going to choose two more people as winners from the first 50 uh, comments below. Now, make sure also to subscribe, because it makes it easier for me to contact you back. I will send you a note if you win this, and then you give me your information, and we'll have it shipped out to you from Rockwell. Now we're going to start having fun. What I'm going to do is use uh, LSU purple. It doesn't matter what school you have or you can do this for anything. My son goes to LSU. I'm doing this for his dorm. We have some water in this bowl and I'm going to pour a little bit of paint in. I brought the project back inside because I'm going to put some decals on it. So I marked it off with tape in order to get the center. Once we put the decals on, we'll flip it over and put the legs on it. I decided to go with, uh, with some little legs that I, I bought at Lowe's. These were $8 a piece. You can get other ones for $5 a piece that are the same size that are really nice, but they only had three of them when I went over there and I didn't want to wait. This is only going to take a second. I laid out my tape and I have my marks right here and here so I can pretty much get the center of this. I can put my point toward this and the, the center of this toward that and we're good. So we'll just peel this off. This surface, make sure your surface is clean. I waited for this to dry. And this is a peel off decal. I just want to really be careful. All right. I'm going to try to eyeball this to the center. My top and bottom are the most important ones. I just realized my two side ones are going to be different because this is smaller than the, than the, uh, the whole square paper. This is just the insert. So as long as I have the top and bottom lined up, the rest is going to fall in place as long as I keep that gap right there even. Okay. That's going to be pretty cool when it's all done. And that epoxy is going to go on this and it's going to look like glass. This table's pretty stout. Like I said, I made it out of a 2x6. So I, I cut them up in here and uh, this is two by material, it's pretty heavy, which is going to be nice. Now I didn't do anything with the back yet, I didn't sand it because when I pour that epoxy on, it's going to drip down underneath here. Now I'll scrape it as much as I can, but it still will be a little bit messy right there. So I will sand this and get it smooth and paint it after. I take my speed square and I set it up against the edge of the uh, table. Now I'm going to put this at the two inch mark because that's how far in I want it. On the other side of the speed square I'm just going to put a piece of tape to line it up. So I don't have to measure each one, all I have to do is make a mark. Now with my tape where I need it to be, I'm going to step back, just go two inches, get a little mark right here, and then I'll come up here two inches, line it up with that. So I'm going to go from two to the edge of my tape, which is a little over four. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll go from the two inch mark over to my tape. I'll do the same right here. I'm from the tape to two inches. And then here, same thing. Now I can easily take my square and line it up with the corners. Once I do that, 
I'll put an X in there and I'll have my center. That's where I want to drill my hole. Next I'm going to take a bit to match the hole right here. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put a hole in this bottle cap with my drill bit. So I'll drill right into it. All I want to do is bite enough to where I can screw it on there. Now I can turn it down to the depth I want and this is going to be my stop. And I'll line this up to where it goes pretty deep but not all the way through because I don't want to come through the face of this. Now I have my depth set. Once it hits that, I know I'm good. I'm back out. This is a real easy way to paint the spindles. I want it to look like wood just like the rest, so I want to have a little bit of a wood grain. So I'm going to take and water this paint down. I'll dip it in a rag and a little bit of water and then wet it up and that's it. We just run through this. We'll have this painted in no time. I can even wipe it down now with a rag because it's basically like staining it and once that's on there it'll dry really fast. 10-15 minutes I can take this and work with it. I want to make this as easy as possible. So right here my lag bolt I taped it off where I want to go, the depth I want to go on it. I have several sets of these you get them really cheap at Harbor Freight. When they're on sale you can get this for like five dollars for the three of them and you have your half inch, your three eighths inch, and your quarter inch drives right here. So you can use your regular sockets on your torque gun. Now I have my socket here, put it on my torque gun, and we're going to go to town. I went down to Lowe's and Depot and I could not find the double threaded uh, screws for this. So I'm just going to cut this off with my bolt cutters. You could use a grinder, you could use a Dremel tool, anything to get this off. Anything like that that will cut it. Even a hacksaw. You could put it, uh, clamp this in a vise with a towel on it so it doesn't hurt it and you could just cut it. But I'm going to use these bolt cutters. They were real inexpensive. I bought them at Harbor Freight for I think $15 and it's 24 inch, uh, this is a 24 inch bolt cutter and it'll work perfect for this. So let's get it in here right where I want it. Set it on the table. That's all she wrote. Take my next one, same thing. Set it where I need it. Once you know that this is not too deep, you can take your drill and just double check it with this guide on here and you can adjust it if you're not deep enough. So this little homemade guide is going to put me right where I need to be. I need to go a little bit deeper. Tell you what, pretty darn strong. Well that's it for now. On the next video we're going to do the pour on this and I'm going to show you some shortcuts to really do it right. You don't want to mess up when you're doing this epoxy. It's easy to fix but you don't want to mess up. You want it right the first time. And there's some pretty cool stuff I'm going to do with this. So make sure you check out the next video and we'll cover the pouring of the epoxy and finishing this baby. Well, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I have a giveaway with two of these Rockwell sanders. This is a VibraFree. This thing is really pretty stout, 3.3 amp motor. This part right here, the inside ring spins one way and it oscillates and the other one goes the opposite way. So it cuts through really well and then it leaves a lot of room 
for vacuum, so it sucks in a lot of the dust. This sander comes with a bag, and it has a, a vacuum port that goes on here to hook up your shop back to with the adapters, and you also have the uh, dust collector right here, which really works great. I don't even use um, my vacuum a lot of times, even indoors, because this thing really takes a lot of the dust in here and it, it, it circulates real well to where it pulls it in. It actually collects dust better than any other palm sander that I've used. You have three different pads that come with it. You have five of the 180, five of the 120, and five of the 60 grit. So it all comes together and it's ready to go. I use this thing for a couple of months and I'm really happy with it. So now we're going to give away two of them. Make sure that you comment on my video. I don't care what you say. You can say something about the sander or something about the uh, video. And we're going to take two people from the first 50 and choose as winners. The winner of this should be pretty happy. And what I want is some feedback from you winners. I want y'all to tell me what you think of this. Because we're going to be having a lot more giveaways from Rockwell in the future. And they like to get some feedback from my viewers. So don't forget to comment. Check out paulstoolbox.com for all my archive videos. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project.